Hello. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss uh, one of the problem of uh, physics net exam of 2020, uh, which is about coupled oscillation and eigenvalue problem. Chord number for the problem is 172, uh, which says uh, two coupled oscillators in a potential, uh, which is given by half k x square plus two y plus half k y square, where k is greater than two, of course, as it says, can be decoupled into two independent harmonic oscillators with coordinates x dash and y dash by means of an appropriate transformation. So in this case, you can see the two x y term uh, shows that it's a coupled one, but we can transform into a coordinate system in which uh, they would look x uh, decoupled. Okay, so there will be a separate potential energy term in terms of x dash and in terms of y dash, and we are asked to find the transformation matrix S. Uh, to find means, I mean, in this case, we are uh, told to select uh, the correct option out of the four given. So let us see how we do this problem. That's our potential energy. That's our, uh, we can write it uh, in terms of matrix formalism uh, as X transpose K matrix times X uh, column vector, of course. That X column vector will be X and Y. So uh, column vector will have first element X and the second row element will be Y. If you do that, then your potential energy will actually look like what you see uh, in front of you on the screen. Uh, in that case, your K matrix will look like K1, 1, K. So matrix K has two eigenvalues. Uh, if you write eigenvalue equation and expand, you will have that term k minus lambda at both diagonal element and you make the determinant zero, you'll get k minus lambda square equal to one, which means your lambda value is either k plus one or k minus one. For k plus one, you will have eigenvector one, one. And for k minus one, your eigenvector will be minus one, one. Of course, one by root two comes from the normalization of these eigenvectors. So if these eigenvectors put side by side and matrix is constructed, you will get your matrix as it is expected in this problem. Your S matrix will be one by root two, one by root two, column first column and minus one by root two, one by root two, second column. And in that case, if you take this S transpose K S, uh, you can you can actually substitute uh, uh, S matrix and its transpose and the K matrix as we took in the previous slide and uh, work out the product. You will see that it, it becomes K plus one, zero and zero, K minus one. So this is, if, if I take this as my new K matrix in coordinates X dash and Y dash, then you can see since it's a diagonal one, uh, this oscillations in x dash y dash are coupled. Of course, uh, the first one will have a, a spring constant k plus one and second one will have k minus one. Uh, so in this case, uh, the option two is the correct answer. But if I, if you want to realize this, you see this one by root two, one by root two says that uh, x dash y dash. So x dash is 1 by root 2 times x minus y and y dash is 1 by root 2 times x plus y. So we have coupled the coordinates to decouple their oscillation. Yes, for more such uh, videos, you are welcome to visit our website.